Hey, ha, ha, how's it going, bros? My name is Beep Tweebot. It's kind of like ASMR, isn't it? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 104 Days of Beep Tweebot. Today, I got a special one for ya. So I bought a box of fidget toys, and I also have two special ones uh, separately. We're gonna work up our way to those two ones in the semifinals and in the finals by playing with these. To break it all down, I have ADD, all right? ADD, ADHD, pretty much known as the same thing nowadays. I think, I, I'm pretty sure. But I have ADD, and I fidget with my hair, like every time I'm nervous or if I'm thinking about something or if, I, if something's got me stressed out and if I'm really thinking about it or thinking about how I'm gonna do it, I twist, twirl, and knot my hair, especially when it gets long. I like make a lot of knots in it, and um, I don't know. I do this with my dog tag thing like I clean it with my shirt and I just and my shirt get looks all wrinkly and all that stuff right there in that area and so I thought that I wanted to try to buy a fidget toy or something because I see crank gameplays and Jacksepticeye pretty much I guess embrace their ADD or ADHD on on YouTube and they tried to find some ways to cure it. I mean, there's medication for it and they're medicated for their ADD, as am I. I took my medicine just a little bit ago, actually. If you do have ADD or ADHD or if you think you do, go to your doctor and get tested. It could make a lot of things make sense, you know? If you're like, oh, why is just, why is just doing anything in life so difficult? You might have it, <laughs> you know, go ask. There's no way that you can self-diagnose yourself and it is, you're not correct most likely. But yeah, I just thought it's really cool that uh, Crane Gameplays and Jack are seeing what helps and what doesn't. I wanted to do it for myself since I have it. By the way, if you're watching this and you're enjoying 104, what are you doing? Go and watch it all again, cause it's almost over. How do you think about it? How did you think about me returning to um, Pennsylvania? I'm gonna have another video in Pennsylvania towards the end as well, like uh, two-ish videos. So look forward to that. You're gonna see Waffle again. But yeah, there's no way that you can self-diagnose yourself. Please don't. And that's just a little disclaimer for you guys. So let's let's open this box. I guess this is like a beep twee unboxing kind of thing, huh? I'm actually excited to see what toy helps me and what toy doesn't. Ooh, I'm feeling one of them. It's I mean I didn't really touch it yet, but like I can see me liking some of these, I think. Ooh, the plastic is just like ASMR or something. <laughs> I thought that toy was just bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first one, we got this thing. I'm gonna be rating it. It's gonna be kind of like, it, it's gonna be exactly like Crank Gameplay's video, right? Today we are gaining control of my ADD, damn it. Okay, so for this one, right, it's a, uh, one of those squishy things with a net. Oh. Oh my God, I like how not all of them come out at first. What's this? What is this thing for? It's like a punching bag. Oh, 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 I like this one. I like this one. I like how it feels on my hand. If I can like kind of organize it to where it comes out all at the bottom. Oh, that feels good. I like this one. I really like this one. I feel like it'd pop though. It wouldn't pop. If I knew it wouldn't pop and I could just do this all the time, it, this would get a 10 right off the bat. But I, I think I'd give this one like a, a six. I, I'd give this one a six. Okay, this is just a football. I guess it could be like a stress, like a stress ball. I think that's what it is actually. Uh, I give this a four. The football gets a four. I, I also like throwing things, you know, like throwing it up. And I feel like that would be a good use for it, but that's why it's getting a four. All right, this one. I seen, I seen this one before. Um, is it all stuck? Is it stuck? Is this what I'm supposed to do with it? Oh, oh. See, so you like, each each one there's an empty hole, so you do this, you push this, it goes to the direction of the empty hole, 
and then there it goes and it flicks it it like it flicks it see like I just now hurt my finger trying to do that it like didn't hurt but like I don't know I feel like it's not as easy to you just got to get the technique right oh, okay look see This one isn't bad. I'll give this one a, uh, I don't know if it's as good as, as good as the net goo. Cause this one can be a stress ball as well, right? I think, I think it could. Not as good of a stress ball as this, but you know, this one requires more focus. So I think that this one would be like a, uh, I give this one a four. I give it a four. These, I see these, these are in here as well. Like these little tiny people. It reminds me of a toy that I used to have back in the day, but uh, these get like a, these get a one. I don't know what to do with them. Cause like, I don't want what I'm playing with to break. This reminds me of my hair. Like I could like knot it, but it'll break. My hair is strong. They get a one. Right here, there's a classic slinky, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. The, the you know slinkies are cool, but like I'm I'm not good at them. I don't have the technique or coordination. I want to have something that you need no skill for, right? This isn't even like a good slinky. It's a little one. You know the good slinkies are the big heavy ones that have weight to them and they can move on their own. You know what I mean? But this is okay, you know. But like I don't know what to do with it. It's like other than that, it's just like this. So I give this one a three. I give the slinky a three. It's not as bad as the little, the little people right there. This, I don't, I don't know what it's for. Does it connect to something? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Was that a thumbnail? Oh my God, if it can do this forever and not lose its like efficiency or noise making thing, this is a 10 for me. Oh my gosh, look at Bindi, look at Bindi. Watch Bindi. <laughs> What's up Bindi? She stopped doing whatever she was doing and she was like Like wow, oh my god. I just want to play with this all day, dude. Can I just play with this all day? I I love it. I might actually take this with me when I go to Pennsylvania in this timeline right in this time I am going to Pennsylvania in one day actually in one day I go see my internet friends for a second time. I'm pretty nervous, but you know, it's exciting. Okay, okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? Okay, so it's like a little ball. It looks like you can wear it as a keychain too, but this looks like some sort of puzzle because some of the pieces are kind of sticking out. I don't know how to do it. How do you do it? I'm sure this could be cool if I knew what I was doing right here. Then, oh, you, you need this little circle thing to detach it. And I guess that's a good thing for a keychain too. But what if you accidentally hit it and it falls apart and you're walking and you're in the mall, you're out in public or something. Oh, I don't know. This one gets a, this one gets a zero cause I don't understand it. And so do the people. The people get a zero too. Da, 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 da. <gasps> a fidget spinner. Dude, I've never had a fidget spinner before. Oh my God, I get two of them. This was like a ninja star. This is cool. Oh my god! Oh my god, I get the hype now. I get the hype now. You know, if this was like a, a very expensive fidget spinner, I'm sure that I would like it even more, but like... Oh my god! <laughs> Is it like spinning on the thing? Like, is the camera having trouble picking it up? Wow, fidget spinners get a not get a 10. Fidget spinners get a 10. Oh my God, I didn't know it come with fidget spinner. I just bought the box. Then there's this thing. Shoo! 
don't know this gets like a three it's pretty cool it's cool to have like in the background of your room i guess like if you had a light on it or something it could you can make funny like faces in it oh man Yeah, dude, if this thing didn't, if this thing, if I could play with this forever and it didn't lose its, like, noises that it can make, this is a 10, you know what I mean? Otherwise, it's a 9, so you know, you know. If any of you had that one, let me know if it does lose its thing. This is like a, a, a snail click thingy. I'd be scared to get, like, too comfortable with this thing, and then I end up breaking it. You know, I'm just like, and it like snaps. I break its neck or I break its back or something. This is pretty cool, man. This one, uh, you see how, how long I played with it? I, I think that's as far as it's gonna go. I'm not gonna play with it. What if I bend it the entire way? Like this, I do this, but this is the whole thing. It'd like turn, it, it'd be like a whirlpool. <laughs> like a tornado notice how long i stayed on it i don't know not for long i could play with the fidget spinners the gooey thing and the orange tube for probably an entire video maybe probably i'll do that for an asmr video on the channel on asmr channel why are you not focused this, the thing was focusing over here one of these what oh my god I remember having these. I remember playing with one of these, like uh, one similar to this, when I was little. It's like a maze. I never could get it. I always sucked at at like these kind of maze games. Oh shit! And the holes are in here to mess me up. Oh my god! Is this a hole right here? No. Yeah, I always sucked at these, but uh, it, it it's very time consuming. It's like more of like an eye game and it's not something to fidget with, you know what I mean? So I give this one a I give this one a one. This is slime one. That's not the kind of fidget thing that I wanna have. What the fuck is this? Is this like hair? Like I can knot it? I can do this. See, like if I'm playing with something, I can't just play with something like this consistently. Because my shit would break. If I have fun with anything, it breaks. Woo woo! Yeah, I don't know. It, it comes with a green one too. The noodles get like a, the noodles get a one. <laughs> the noodles get a one. Peas in a edamame bean. Oh, they don't come out. It's just like a. You just squeeze it. You just squeeze it, and they come out like that is this like a keychain you can put this on a keychain this one's a tough one i'm scared that anything that i would do would break i give i so I, i'll give this one like a i'll give this one a five this one gets a five i love edamame beans too so this one's kind of repping my merch you know what i mean this one gets what i'm saying there's a marble in this one. I love me some marbles, but basically all it is is this, pretty much. If you get if you get the uh, coordination right, you can just keep doing it back and forth. Similar to the edamame bean or green bean or whatever, this one you just like go back and forth and the ball or whatever it is stays inside. It doesn't come out. This one I can see myself playing with like on the plane or something if I ever get nervous or or something. But like it, it makes me upset whenever I miss it and I sque just squeeze the orange thing. I'm also nervous that I scratch the uh, marble inside because I also like things staying clean and having no scratches on them. Otherwise, it bothers me, and I feel like it could break if there's a scratch. The scratch could turn into a crack, and then the crack could just break in half, you know? But yeah, I like that one. That one, this one gets a 8. This one gets an 8, surprisingly enough. I didn't think that I would like that one. What the hell's in here? <gasps> Ooh, I was looking forward to these. ta da da days. I was actually looking forward to this one. I can actually, I picture myself holding this on uh, on the plane as well. So basically, it's like an infinity thing 
where it just works out and one goes through the other and the other goes through the other one as well but like uh it's a good point that ethan made can i do it with one hand i would like to do this with one hand maybe maybe i just have to learn how to do it but other than that you need two hands right to a to a new person like me right Yeah, I can't, I can't do it. I don't know, but I like it. I like squeezing it and feeling the structure under my palm. God. This one, get, this one gets a, a six, I think. I thought this, that this one would be higher, you know, but you know what I mean? But I just wish I could do it with one hand. Like this one, I can, oh, it makes a noise when you do it this way. This one I can kind of do with one hand or it like it doesn't it won't fall out if I do it with two hands like you know what I mean I won't mind but this one I feel like it you know it, it would definitely fall out this one has an advantage because I could just do it with one hand and, 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 and I could feel it in my entire hand this one while yes it may be true that all oh, you can only do it with one hand I mean you can do this but like you run out of And then there's a Rubik's cube. I do not know how to do Rubik's cubes. But yeah, if if I if I knew this this I can tell that this isn't a good Rubik's cube. It's cheap, right? But then again, this box comes with like 25 million toys. I could this this could definitely help someone who knew how to do it. But I don't, so this gets like a 5, you know what I mean? Respect, but no. And this is like what? Kinetic sand? And there's like this glitter stuff. I'm not opening this. I, I squeeze it through the bag. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, I, that was the that was the entire box of those toys right there. So I have magnetic rings and I have a fidget cube. I've always wanted to get a fidget cube. And then the fidget spinners. So I always wanted to get a fidget cube and also a fidget spinner. You know, then the fidget spinners got popular and then nobody had fidget cubes. Everybody had a fidget spinner. Um, but yeah, now I have it and I'm excited. A fidget cube. Cool joystick. It, the joystick is good. Kind of like ASMR. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I got, I forgot I was, I, I kind of forgot I was recording. Oh, this clicks too. Oh, I love this. Oh, the joystick comes out. Oh, I love this. Oh my God. I love this. <laughs> this gets a 10. <laughs> um. So the fidget cube comes with this thing. It's similar, ooh, ooh. I think this one's better than the other one because I don't know, the, the little thingies right here are on the same side and you can turn it. Can you turn it on this one? Oh my God, wait, wait, can I, do I shake it? Can I shake it? I was just having a, I was just having a blast with my fidget cube. I'm taking this on the plane with me. I'm taking my fidget cube on the plane with me. I hope they don't take it away. I'm gonna be heartbroken if they do. So do I, can I shake this? Like, if I hold it a right, the right way, 
Oh, now they're on the opposite side. What? I don't know. I, this one's better, isn't it? Yeah, this one's better than this one, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this one's better. It, this one came with the fidget cube. I don't know. I think there's a way that I can shake it, and it just keeps going round and round and round. I don't know, but I like this one. I might take this one on the plane with me, too. Maybe not, though, because there's metal in it, but I don't think they'll take this one out because there's... They might take this one out because there's, there's, like, metal in it, I guess. Yeah, there's a little bit. Oh, I hope they don't take away my toy. I don't think I can take the magnetic rings on the plane with me either, but here we go. I'm about to try it out. I have I have high hopes. I the the fidget cube and the these magnetic rings I had the most high hopes for. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? Imagine you put one in like France, one in Italy, and one in Australia. Three friends, they find them, and then they're like, oh my god, we're three best friends destined to meet each other. How do you do these? I thought that it, cause like, it, it would be even better if they were smooth. Oh, I kinda get it now. If they were smooth and they didn't feel like this matte feeling. And if they, if it was a stronger magnet and they like magnetized through your fingers and stuff, I feel like that that would be cool as well, but uh, I feel like if you like messed up, one could fall easily and it'll and it won't be as satisfying. So yeah, I guess magnetic rings. Since I don't know how to use it really, um, shut up, clock. I give magnetic rings a. Um, oh, they spin. They spin. If I can magnetize one to spin. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, look at the magnet. It's like stronger on one side. Stronger only in points around it. Magnetic rings get... Oh, shit. You see what I mean? It fell. That kind of ruined your score, bro. Okay, I think magnetic rings get like a five. 5.5. I'm excited to fidget with some of these. I'm excited to see how it changes if I end up liking one more than the other. I think that'll be it for this video. Celebrating 104, about to end. I hope that you enjoy, that you're enjoying. Go watch all of the videos again. You know, give me that watch time. I'm trying to do this for a living. I'd really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and if you want me to do this again, like the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Beep, tweet, bot.